G'day folks, Rhino's going to have a feed out in the trees, in nature. Just was going to go home and sit in front of the computer and eat, but I thought, you know what, let's change it up a bit today and go get some sunshine, warm the bones, you know. First little item, Carlton United Breweries Ashtray. It's a little tip, folks, get to know your plastics. There's about a lot of different plastics but this I do the old tooth test this is melamine it's like post bakelite so now you can tell it's old right because this ashtray would have been in a pub because back in the day smokers could smoke in places now and it says on draft here so it tells you you know it's not new like ashtrays sell quick all day long the cooler the ashtray the bigger the ashtray the better because you know smokers are lazy <laughs> don't like emptying ashtrays all the time so if you can get a big ashtray awesome you know this is a 30 dollar ashtray i'll just do ashtrays at 30 bucks if it's cool i might do it a bit higher and put best offer but it does have a little chip just here still cool but all right so here's the free lamps i picked up this little Bell's Scotch whiskey, it's like a little Bell. You know, 10 bucks on it. Like it's a bit screwy at the top. The screw's a bit, thread's a bit tight, dodgy, loose, but I'll use some plumber's tape and sort that dog out, you know what I mean? So you know, like this is a little cool. It's not hard to ship, it's only little. It doesn't, you don't, I don't ship out these with, with shades. I sell shades, they can buy a shade as well, you know, so. Check, 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 all, check all your electronics before they work. Put a little disclaimer in your listing saying, um, you know, beware, blah, blah, blah. It's not, I don't know, you've got to put something. There's, there's something. It's got like little stickers on it. You know, it's pretty cool. It's got a little thing underneath saying it's made in Scotland. You know, I'd put like 60 bucks on this. Best offer. And just take whatever I get over 30. Yeah, okay, there's one. Uh, look at these awesome things, right? 10 bucks each. So like, brass, cast brass, cool like amber glass center, cast brass, tested, works, it's tight, it's cool. Like, I don't know what I'd charge. I'd work the shipping out first. The shipping's gonna be about, depends, in Australia, like it's not even cleaned yet, so it's fairly clean, but I'll give it a clean, make it look schmick. You put this on a white back, white backdrop with lights on it it's going to look even better than it really is you know what i mean i'll put like a hundred i'll put a hundred bucks on this it's the small one yeah i'll put a hundred bucks on this because shipping's going to be like 50 bucks 40 bucks depends on where you are in australia but yeah straight post sort your shit out flat rate shipping would be nice just ups come over here and sort us out anyway so uh yeah i put a hundred bucks on that and take and put best offer Man, like that for me, 50, I'll take it. That covers the lot, you know, 50. And this one's pretty cool as well. Needs a clean up, 10 bucks as well. It's a little bit loose, but nothing I can't sort out. For a bit of like Jedi skills. Like it's quite large, look, compared to my head, you know? I like to compare things against the size of my head. I don't know, just got this thing. It smells a bit dirty, but not like cat piss or nothing. But yeah, it's got some like, Engravings on the bottom, 1974, stamped, see, no, it's the 70s. The more info an item's got stamped onto it or stickered onto it, the better you're going to be with your listing, you know? It's got one of them funky, you can, you can double up, you know? Because back in the day, they didn't have like what we got, double power points on the wall and shit, they just had one. So they were like, we'll get that, we'll get the upgrade, we'll put the, the special thing so we can have two bedside lamps, you know? One on each side of the bed. Fancy house this would have been in. You know, you find the right shade for this, it's gonna look magic. Magic, I'm telling you. But yeah, that's uh, lamps for you. Like the shipping on this is gonna be expensive, but the, the actual, this amber glass is quite solid. You just pack it in beans, pack it in those bubble beans, wrap it up, make it look nice. When they get it, they go, ooh. You know, they wanna, they wanna open it. It's like they just spent like, you know, I'll put, I'll put 150 on this one just to see what happens. Yeah, I got more lamps. 
I'm a bit, I like lamps. I like lamps, I like glass. I just like things that are cool, yeah, old. So anyway, I'm sitting here doing some listings of some books and I'm just like looking at, um, some, listening to some motivational stuff on the old computer, you know, as you do, to get yourself in the super alignment. And I'm here listening to Steve Jobs' 2005 Stanford speech. They reckon it's one of the top 10 speeches. When I was young, there was an amazing publication called the Whole Earth Catalog, which was one of the Bibles of my generation. It was created by a fellow named Stuart Brand, not far from here in Menlo Park, and he brought it to life with his poetic touch. This was in the late 60s, before personal computers and desktop publishing, so it was all made with typewriters, scissors, and Polaroid cameras. It was sort of like Google in paperback form 35 years before Google came along. It was idealistic, overflowing with neat tools, and great notions. Right, so here's how serendipity works. I'm friggin' holding this book while I was like listing these treasure books and yeah, goosebumps and shit. How about that? For our freaky shit. It's really cool, but have a look. It's got like, it's just like what he says. It's like Google before Google. It's got like mad survival tips for like when the post apocalypse comes and like how to, all the bits of a push bike. Oh man, like, it's like chock full of stuff. But yeah, so there you go. Treasure from the book hoard. What can I say? Treasure hunting. Some things people see as treasure. Books are treasure to me. Treasure. Anyway, thanks for like coming along my little adventure for today. Hope you enjoyed what I was doing. I did. I enjoyed what I was doing. Have a great day. Um, yeah, balls to the wall. <laughs>